Welcome back to Theme Journals. I'm April. Okay, so <laughs> I have a little update. I've been, I bit the bullet and bought some things on my credit card. And I've gotten a few things in. So I'm filming with my new camera stand that's jerry-rigged to my old camera stand. Don't ask. Anyway, at least I'm out of bumping distance so we're going to see how this goes. Okay, I have a couple of projects on my desk. This is the altar playing cards that I did for the journal. The Franken paper journal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to uh, uh, let that be the decoration on the side. Of course, as the owner of the journal, you can decorate it any way you want. But I'm going to decorate it this way. So I've put in um, the other things I'd made for this journal the book, the tag and the notebook. Let's see. Also, I I put in another cam uh, another light. So, it gives me more light in my craft room. I'm very excited about that. All right. Let's turn that no. Now let's turn this one upside down. Let's see. Oh, I see. Now, let's do it this way. I know, I'm being picky, what can I say? And now we've got a completed journal. I'm very excited about this. And there you have it. Um, just need to do a little snippy snippy here. All right. So let's take a peek at that. It's a soft cover journal. I haven't named it other than using the one from the chapter um, thing. So anyway, I'm going to make a few more of these because this was a lot of fun to do. And I'll have to figure out more fabric to use for these. This was just such a perfect fabric to use for the uh, Boho Journal. Handmade um, faux eyelash trim Boho dangle. And then altar playing cards, a tag, altar playing cards, and a notebook. And I did this pocket. It could be a four pocket notebook. You could make it a U shape or a, this and make it a tuck. Or you could just do a U and then, you know, go all the way up there with the glue. And then you'd have a fourth pocket. But I don't need a fourth pocket. So in the topper. Ha! Ah, okay, so that's completely done now. Yay. And then, oh, one last thing is I've made this as a base for my um, writing board. And I've got clear cover transparent film on a roll because, yeah. I don't have a, a um, what do you call it? I don't have any um, what do you call it? Mm. Uh, I don't have a laminator. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Ugh. Welcome to all the new uh, Subscribers, I appreciate your spending time with me on this theme journal journey. And, um, all right, I'm going crooked here. I know I am. All right. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to follow this line. Right here, okay, 
Then we're going to measure out another sheet of this and we're going to go with it's crooked on one end. Of course it is. I did make it a little bit wider than it, than I thought I'd need. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut on this line here. Yep. All right, we can put the rest of the roll aside. All right. Yeah, I was faced with the total truth of my craft room. It's an absolutely unmitigated disaster pass. Yeah, true story. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to Pull it back that far, and then what we're going to do is align it with a piece of paper. See, it's wider than it needs to be. Yeah. There's always a method to my madness. All right. All right. Excellent. And this will be the writing board. I used my Stabilo colored markers again, or crayons again, or colored water pencils. There you go. And I did this freehand. It's really simple and easy. And it sort of looks like stained glass, sort of. And this does not want to cut the plastic. So, I've been meaning to put up my extra light for a long time, but I've had to wait until I got some stuff off my desk. So, I got that off my desk now. I can use the extra light. Yay. All right. Now... There you go. Then you just rub any, what do you call it, bubbles out. All right. Yeah, see this? This is extra stamping paper, um, protected paper for whatever. And that's how I get them, is I use the this clear plastic, or I started saving my backs to, when I first started doing this, I was into altered, um, I upscaled boxes, and I would buy a colored paper like that. See that box over there? Oops, okay, see that box there? Yeah, that's an upscaled box. I just put shelving paper around it, and it's, you know, cute, and it does what I want it to do. And I saved the backs from that. That's the point. Okay, back to what we're doing. All right. All right. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. And we got another piece. I just have a stack of them, and when they get all crumpled and nasty, then I throw them away. But at least it's been recycled multiple times. All right. Now, what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to do the zigzag stitch around this, and it'll be in gold like everything else, and... Um, I'm thinking I might do a corner tassel on it. Um, not sure. But definitely. I will be sewing this together so that it stays together. I want it to look organic as possible. Um,
<laughs> it's sticky. All right. Now what I'm going to do is before I um, sew it, I'm going to put it under some heavy books and then see if I can't flatten it out a little bit. So I'm going to go do that now so I don't forget that, to do that. <laughs> Okay, so I'll, I'll sew that later and decide if I'm going to do a tassel later. That's okay. All right, let me put this stuff away. There we go. I'm trying to be a little bit more organized. The more I organize, the more disorganized I become, it seems like. All right. Now, huh. I sort of threw this in the trash accidentally. Mm -hmm. Yep, true story. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a second layer of um, sil old silver, old silver metallic wax on this. Because I made such a disaster out of it all. Now, if you remember, this is what usually this is what it originally looked like, and now I am altering them to silver for my next set of um, theme journals I'm working on. Now, this is going to be a, a, a really a fun journal to work on. Not that the, the wild journals weren't. Um, but yeah, I've had, I've been planning this out in my head for months now. And I've been looking at, you know, what's on um, Amazon and, you know, altering what I needed and changing my mind and finding something better and changing my mind again. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, why did I say ouch? Uh, I should have said yuck. Get my fingers all silvery. It's the first time I did it, I got silver everywhere. Up my arms, on my legs, all over my hands. Yeah, it was. I was quite the disaster pants the first time I did this. So Now, I, I want every single piece of black gone because I don't want people to look at it and say, oh, what is she doing? So, anyway. And I like the results. I, I do like the results. Now, my problem is, is that <sighs> these holes are too small. So, I'm going to have to take my drill and and wallow these out just a little bit more i haven't gotten around to doing that yet but i decided well let me see what that looks like with the furniture or the uh with the uh gilding paste on it and i like it so that's the good news um You have to clean your brush, have to clean your brush. All right. Now I've got to put this out of the way so I'm not getting silver on everything. Hopefully I did a little bit better tonight. All right, so I'll get back to doing that um, after I wallow out all of these holes a little bit. Now, why do I have to wallow them out? Well. I'm going to give you a hint tonight on what my next project is going to be. I'm not going to come out and tell you, but it's going to be a fun one. So I've got these. Little things and they have a backing and I thought that I forgot that they had this backing. And so I didn't look to see what size they were so I could match the hole here and with the backing 
If I screw it on, maybe I'll, it'll be screwed on properly, huh? Interesting. The other, the one I just turned to silver, it wouldn't turn, huh? Well, all right. So anyway, I'll just leave that there. And then I have these little things here. I may not be, I may have to do a little bit more altering on these than I thought. All right, here's the, that fully up. All right, there you go. I'll give you a side view of what that may or may not look like to you. If you can guess what it is, put it in the comments below. Now, um, huh. so I will put one in each side. And the reason why I thought I had to drill them out was because I couldn't get these, these little screws through. But I may be able to screw them in, at least on some of them. And the ones that won't allow me to put them in, I will wallow out with my drill. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. I need a... All right, there. Okay, so that's the, the side view, and that's what I'm going to be doing after I turn it silver. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead... Oof. And remove these because I can't turn it silver if I've if I got these on them. All right, at least I know that these will. Well, I may just leave them in there and turn it silver, and then put them back on. Yeah, that might be a good idea, April. Okay, so let me see if the rest of these will I can screw those screws in because if I can see. Um, my way clear, I may be able to just screw them in rather than wallowing them out. I'm glad I took a second look at another one, but that, the first one I tried, I was like, yeah, this isn't going to work. I couldn't even screw it like I'm doing this one. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Interesting. Yeah, see, I got silver everywhere. Thank God for baby wipes. Thank you, Tisha. Ugh, my sister sent me a case of baby wipes a while back, and I'm almost done with the first thing of baby wipes. I got a whole drawer full of them, though. <laughs> All right. See, this one's having a harder time allowing me to screw it through the, um, see, this one's not screwing in at all. So I have to wallow that one out. All right, good to know. It won't be very much. It'd just be a skosh around it, you know. See, this one's screwing in like it, I imagined it originally doing. All right. Huh. Interesting. Look at that. No problem. All right. Uh, what 
did I just do? <laughs> well, finding things I dropped earlier, just not the screw that I dropped now. I'm going to have to go down there with a flashlight, man, and see if I can't find stuff. Because I know I got a bunch of beads on, on the floor. Yeah. Then I have to find the home for them. I, I found some sea beads that I threw all over my desk, or, you know, when I was working on the uh, boho beads and um, boho charms. And I'll tell you what, I found some of them today. And now I can't remember which tackle box I actually put the. I might have found the tack box. Then I put the uh, containers for the sea beads in, yeah. I've got to come up with a better organization pro. I got an organization problem in my craft room right now. And it's driving me nuts. All right, let's see. You know, if I had a Phillips screwdriver, instead of trying to do this by hand, I might actually make it work. When I screw the these in um, after I do everything then I will make sure that I use a Phillips screwdriver to get them perfectly you know in there. Okay, there goes another one. All right. That was not me. That was my dog. He bunked the stand foot and he moved my camera. And that was not me. Like I said, it's over far enough where I can not bump the arm now so I'm excited about that and um, and it's movable so yeah I can take it out to the kitchen and and, and the kitchen table and my sewing area and uh, yeah All right, so it looks like I only need to wallow out three, one on the silver one and this one. Let me try this one again, because what I have found is if one side will go through, the other one does too. So it's like my grandmother said, April, you're not holding your face right. I'd be making all sorts of faces and she'd be sitting there laughing at me and be like what's so funny and she would just sit there and laugh even harder and she'd be wheezing trying to catch her breath she was laughing so hard at me see that's not going through okay so it, it's definitely a smaller hole all right Okay, so what I'm going to do, oh, I didn't put these away. Uh -huh. Let me uh, put those away. Oh, I just broke the, I just broke my little bag. Uh, put it back in here. Hope for the best. do now is I'm going to go ahead and I think well I can't believe I've been fiddling around with this for 24 minutes <laughs> all right so I'm going to go ahead and 
do one more of these with you so you can see what it looks like from the not a redo of the silver but from the black base um, now the since you this I'm putting it on with a a paintbrush you want all your strokes to go in the same direction um, otherwise it'll look like that you want all your strokes to go in one direction so it doesn't matter if you go this way but then that means all the strokes have to go in that direction or this way they just have to you just have to be consistent that's all so you can see the reason part of the reason why I needed to redo it the other reason was because I accidentally threw it away and in the, the trash that was in, I had shavings from my watercolors and the darker color, um, darker colors got onto this. Yeah, I can't believe I threw it away either. But, you know, I had it on the edge. Okay, let me show you my little trash can for the, the table. See that? That's my little trash can for the table. And what I did was I put it like this to dry because I, I was... I didn't have room and I forgot it was there and I threw the trash out. <laughs> Welcome to my world where the craziest things happen and you know that they've happened. You just have to go dig through the trash and find it. So that's what I had to do. I, I absolutely had to get that out of the trash. All right. Now I need a little bit more, not a lot, just a skosh because that... does not want to be cooperative with my paintbrush. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And yes, I have the window open so I the fumes can, you know, not overwhelm me. Okay, let me see if I can't get the, that up on an angle. Hang on. Um... So you can see where the black is coming through a little bit and you absolutely need to do it again. Let me see if I can show you. So in this corner, there's a little bit of black. I don't know if you can see that. And then over in this corner and over on the this thin little rim and then right here. So that's why I put a second um, coat on the first one that and the fact I had to dig it out of the trash so I will leave you with this variety in the craft room um, thank you so much for your subscription we're close to a hundred uh, subscribers and what I'm going to do for the hundred subscribers is I'm going to give away a charm um, that I've made and let me well I can't get it out right now because I have something drying on top of the charm box. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. And uh, so I will just tease you with that. It's a charm. It's a lovely charm. It's one of my favorite charms that I've ever made. And I'm going to give it to the lucky winner of the 500, or 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, in order to win it, you'll have to put a comment in the box below. Um, not on this film, but I'll tell you which um, film that you have to comment on. I'm hoping that more and more of you will start commenting and asking questions or leaving comments or just saying hi. Um, that's okay if you don't want to talk. That's, that's fine. Um, oh yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Ha! Please like this video. 
please subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so you can know when the next theme journal journey is leaving um, on its trip. And please share this video with your friends. I thank you for your time with me today. And uh, so I've given you a little hint of what I'm doing for my next um, journal. And I'm very excited about it. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.